Hi everybody, uh, I want to show you in this video how you can create walls uh, uh, for alt space using Unity. Uh, this video is going to be uh, like a 10 minutes uh, video, but it's going to teach you all the process from the beginning all the way to the end so you can get your walls on uh, Unity for alt space. Now, the first thing you need to do is uh, you need to go to settings and then general. And you're going to see two options. You see participate in early access beta and enable words beta. You need to enable those two options. And after you do that, you're going to see a new option right here in the bottom. It says words beta. So after that, you are ready, uh, you're ready to uh, start creating uh, words. The next step is uh, you need to basically go and Google download Unity Hub. You're going to need to install Unity Hub. Just Google it. You're going to see this uh, website, click on it, download Unity Hub, download it. You're going to see it's downloading. And after it's downloading, you need to install it. Just run it and install it. I'm going to show the folder. I'm not going to do it because I just I already did it, but just, just, just uh, run it and install it. And after you install it, let me close this window, you're going to see this uh, icon. Just, uh, just click on it, and you're going to see this. Now, yours is going to be totally empty. Uh, on this and this case, you can see two worlds. They just create two worlds, but yours is going to be totally empty. Now, you got projects, learn, community, and installs. Okay? Now, like I said, project, you're going to see nothing because uh, these two options, I just create something, but yours is going to be totally uh, clear, no worlds. And just to let you know, uh, Unity Hub is going to be your main uh, control. Uh, you can actually manage all the projects and uh, works that you're going to create. And basically, Unity is going to be the main thing. Now, there are a lot of versions of Unity. And the one you need is this one, 2.19.4.2 F1. This is the only one you need for uh, building works for a space. If you choose this one or anything else, it's not going to work. You need, you need 2019.4.2 F1. Okay, and I'm going to show you how you can actually download this version. Uh, like I said, this is the only one, Alt Space. Uh, it's going to be basically support Alt Space. In order, you go to Add, and you can see the DAW version is not here. You cannot find it, but don't worry. Just uh, we're looking for 2019.4.2 F1. If it's not here, just click over here, Download Archive. It's going to take you to a new uh, page. You're going to see all the versions, 2020. 2018, 18. So, but the one we need is 2018. Click on that, and just basically look look for a uh, 2018.4.2. So scroll down. Let me see. It is right here. Just click on it. That's what we need. Install it. Yes. Open it. Now, when you download it. It's going to take a while, but uh, if you download it and download it, you're going to see this option, Android Build Support. And also, you're going to see Android SDK and NDK tools, and also Open uh, JDK. You need to click on this because uh, you're going to create words that they're going to be able to open on uh, Android or, or cell phones, or even Oculus. Remember, the Oculus uh, runs with uh, Android. So so you need to click this in order to make it work with Android. S sorry, to, the, uh, to uh, Oculus. So click on that one. And after that, you just need to uh, install it, but I don't forget to click this option. Now, if uh, you're going to go into coding and scripting, uh, you're going to install this Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. You you can do it. You don't really need it for uh, Altspace because Altspace doesn't allow the uh, scripting, but you're going to get into uh, coding in the future. You just can install it. If not, you don't have to because you don't need it for uh, for our space but uh, and also you can get this uh, software any anytime so don't worry about it and this time I'm gonna do it so then just click just click uh, install after that so after you install unity uh, version 2019.4.2 uh, just Google uh, unity uploader because you're gonna need a file and this file is really important so you see this website, click on it, scroll down, you're going to see Unit Uploader, click on that one. And 
when you click in this one you're going to download it please make sure this this uh, file you're going to need it a every time you're going to export a world uh, to uh, Allspace. So save it in a folder that you're going to remember uh, because you're going to need this every time you're going to upload uh, a world to Allspace. And I'm going to show you uh, in a little bit what I mean with that. So save it and remember what you save it. Click on it. Then you need to save the file. This is the file. So remember what, where uh, do you put it So because you're going to need it just save it for a little bit and i'm going to show you uh, later why you're going to why uh, you're going to need it now just go to the uh allspace website sign in of course and uh, let me see you just go to we're going to create a template go to uh templates and then create new template uh, you can name it i'm going to name this uh i'm going to name this tutorial okay it's going to be tutorial uh, for description I just can put uh, test that's it and I'm going to create a template now uh, a template is basically the core is the heart of the world uh, every time you're going to do a world you're going to create a template and then you can use that one to create the world uh, don't go, it's a little uh, you might think it is a little confusing because uh, there are two different things but basically uh, a template is the beginning of the world you're going to create a template first and it's going to be the theme the core the heart of the of the world and i'm going to show you in a little bit why so this is going to be the template and remember it's called tutorial just uh, create a uh, create template and that's it this is the template okay now after this then you can create a world let me go to uh, worlds and my worlds now okay let me you see this I got uh, you got worlds and you got universes uh, universes basically are are like a like a main folder uh, universe it is like a folder that you're gonna keep all the worlds inside so that way you keep your worlds organized uh, uh, you know for example I can create a, a new universe that is gonna be called um, meetings and all the worlds inside they can be just for meetings so basically a universe has some a folder that you can create uh, you can keep uh, worlds inside more organized on this case i'm going to create a universe uh, so you guys can see what i mean uh, and this uh, i'm going to call this universe just test okay and test oh so now you see this option private uh, this is a really important option if you create a universe that it is private all the worlds inside even though the worlds uh, are public they're going to still private because the universe it is private now what i highly recommend uh, you to do is create a universe that uh, it is public and all the worlds inside you can make you can make those uh, worlds uh, uh, private and when you are done with the world you can just go back and change it to public so people can see it the only reason uh, the only reason is good to make a world uh, private first is because you need to work on it and whatever you are done you can go back and, and just change the world uh, from private to public so people can see it so uh, like, like I say what I love to do is create a universe and do it uh, public like this one I create it and then if I gonna make a world I'm gonna make it private first if until I finish and and whatever is done I just can go back to that world and just make it public okay so now you can see we got uh, another another universe you go to worlds and then you go to my worlds you're gonna see three universes test this one and this one so this is the one we create and you click on that one there is nothing there is no worlds but we're going to create one for you so create world and i'm going to call this uh i think uh, i'm going to create a world uh number one this is the world number one and then oh, and then uh you can description you can you know say anything about the world i just going to put a uh, test again uh let's see this is option private so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create, uh, click on this one, so my world is private until I finish. 
whatever it is whatever is done i can just go back and change it to public so people can see it and get in okay now i can go to these options later in another video uh, but uh, just to make it faster uh, after this uh, you see a lot of templates you see this is when you can choose different templates but uh, because we we create one that is called tutorial right here you see tutorial uh, i can choose that one uh, as a template now uh, I'm going to show you why, how it's going to work if you choose any another template. But first, I'm going to do this one and then just put uh, create world. And that's it. We got our first world. world. If you go inside, there's going to be nothing there. So you see, I'm going to check. I'm going to show you something. This is my world. This is the universe test. You click on that one. And this is the world that we create, world number one and uh, that's good now what we need to do now is just uh, open uh, unity hub let it run it first if you got a lot of different versions of uh, unity you need to make sure you choose the one as compatible with all space remember 2018.4.2 f1 so that one and then you need to click 3d and name the project is going to be uh, word number one and save it whatever you want to save it create it's going to take a while and it's going to open unity and here we go now open you go it's seen this is this is basically uh empty world now remember the folder that i told you you're going to need every time you're going to build a world let me show you this folder uh, you, you see there is nothing here and when the when the uh, world open you already open it when there is open just double click this one and it's going to import everything choose all and then import let it import everything all the assets and then you're going to see this new window you see all space VR. Uh, just click on that one and choose build settings. Uh, login. Sign in. And that's it. Now, after that, I actually, uh, this window, I can merge this window here just to keep it more organized. And now you click in the window, you got three options template, kits, and settings. Okay. What you need to do is load the templates this option is going to load all the templates that you create on all space so you click this one it's going to import all the uh, templates that you got and you see i got uh, template one i got tutorial and this is the world that we actually we're going to start working on it okay choose that one and then go to uh go to uh, a scene and then i'm going to build a cube cube through the objects cube and I got it. I'm gonna scale the cube. Here we go. Uh, and then I'm gonna create. Let me create. Uh, let me see. Through the object, I'm gonna create a uh, terrain. It's just a plane. And I'm gonna move it down. I'm gonna scale it. What I'm gonna. Let me see. What I want to build this terrain is because I don't want to keep falling. Sometimes when you go to the world and you didn't enable flying, you're going to keep falling, falling all the time. So I'm just going to create uh, this uh, uh, plane so I don't keep falling whenever I uh, get into the world. Now, after that, let's go to uh, the same, you know, uh, all space uh, options there. And you're gonna see build and upload. You, you see these two options, build for Windows and Android. Click on those because this is gonna make uh, the work compatible with uh, Android and Windows. So click on those two windows and then you just press build and upload. Uh, so it's gonna take a while, depends of the size of the world. So just be patient and let it do uh, his thing. And now you're gonna see a window in a little bit. Uh, do not close that window because you close that window before actually it's completely uploaded. Uh, the world is not gonna it's not gonna be uh, okay so let it run I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, what I mean with that
this window. Don't don't close it. That's it. Now the word is complete. Now if we go to uh, other space. Now let me see. One of the, you know uh, one of the things you can see if uh, the word uh, was uh, successfully uh, uploaded uh, is this. Go to uh, templates and use this template. Remember the template that we create. Uh, let me see what was it was template tutorial this it was the universe tutorial remember it was the universe tutorial uh, let me see there are two tutorials these are, these are the templates sorry just choose the template it's not this one it's the other one this one you see it says you uploaded one minute ago that means uh, it was actually successfully uh, uploaded so we are good to go then you need to go to uh, worlds and then my worlds you need to choose the right uh, universe which is going to be test remember and then you're going to see the only world inside which is a uh, world number one click on that one get in just wait for it and you're going to see a cube and you're going to see uh, the plane that we create there if everything uh, goes right you see this is the this is the terrain and this is let me see let me walk turn around and this is the cube right there now this is uh, how you create worlds uh, on unity from scratch you can see like it's gonna take a little bit just to create the whole world because you're gonna create everything now if you don't want to do that and you want to create a world from a, from a template I can show you and it's really easy uh, so first uh, I'm going to go to uh, my uh, universe, which is test, and then I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to call this, uh, uh, I'm going to call it a template. I'm going to put in a description. I'm going to put test. And then I'm going to make it private because obviously people, I don't, I don't want people to get in until it's done. And then I'm going to choose, is, you remember the first time we choose the template that we create? this one on this case I'm going to choose another template like all these are templates let me see one of the templates they're going to create let me see uh, it's going to be one of my favorites this one I'm going to create this one and then I just uh, put create press create and then the work is done uh, just get in and look at these guys just uh, that easy we can get a really uh, customized and ready to go uh, world just so easy and this is how you can create worlds uh, like super super fast this is ready to go you see we got a media player there uh, used to show videos and your world is complete you can go you get a lot of people here hanging around and you can choose a lot of different templates so see this is super cool right and this is how you create uh, words in two different ways one from scratch and another one using templates for other space uh, i hope you guys like the video and you guys learned something about the uh creating worlds and don't don't forget you guys know any secret please share it and thank you for watching